Speaking of Tank, Tank got two fights lined up. Mm -hmm. January 7th, Hector Garcia. And it looked like April 15th, April 22nd, Ryan Garcia. Mm -hmm. And then he said, he told me, he said, line them up. Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson, I'm knocking their ass out. What you think about that? Um, Listen, man, Tank got the talent to beat any of them guys, and he got the power to stop any of them guys. Um, I think, you know, for Tank, he just needs to stay focused at the – uh with the fight that's at task and and fuck this boy up and then you know go handle his business with ryan and then after that worry about everybody else but first go go fuck this boy up in dc and do his thing which he should you know but because boxing is, is one fight at a time so you know you can never look past nobody so mm -hmm. just go take care of that business first and then worry about everything else later as far as matchup goes with him and uh, Ryan Garcia, how you how do you like that matchup? It's a hell of a matchup. You got two guys in a prime, um, still young, um, haven't took no punishment on top, and um, they both really believe they can beat each other. You know, uh, of course, of course, I'm with Tank. That's my baby brother. But you know, I'm close to Ryan as well, and, and um. Ryan called me. He's like, he's like, A B, you know I love you to death. He's like, man, I'm gonna beat your boy. And I'm just looking at him. He's like, I know, I know you're gonna be on his side, whatever, but he's not gonna beat me. So, so we got we got we got that type of respect, you know. He just mm -hmm. he just feel like he can beat him. But I'm like, man, in my eyes, I just really don't see, see none of them guys really really beating him. It, it might be only one that'll probably give him some problem, and, and that's Shakur. Mm -hmm. You know, you know that'll be. I think I think that'll be his toughest fight out of all of them. But I still feel like Tank will figure out a way. Now, now I gotta ask you this question: the second sparring session, Devin and Tank. Yeah. Bill said he. Bill said he won money on it. Obviously, you was there. Yeah, Don't I was there. What happened? Could you tell us what happened? Everybody want to know what happened. Did Dev get the best of him? Tank said he, he rocked him. What happened in it? Man, look, man. And I fuck with I fuck with Hey, I fuck with Dev Haney and I fuck with Bill. Heavy, you know my guys. But they know, bro. Tank hit Devin, bro, and had him out. Right in the, in both sessions, no, in the, the session I was there. That's the second one. Yeah, and when I seen that, you got to remember that Devin is, was seventeen at the time. I think, mm -hmm. right? He was still a kid. And I'm like, hell no, nah, you can't have this kid get fucked up like that. And you know what I mean, because he rocked him, he, and he was like, it was it was a crazy shot, and he like paused. And then he hit him again, and, and I'm like, I, I jumped, I jumped in the ring. I, I see they ain't telling this part. See, I jumped in the ring. I wasn't even gonna tell this part, but fuck it. I mean, I mean Bill, my nigga, I ain't, I ain't worried about that. So I jumped in the ring. I'm like, hey, chill out, bro. You good, Dev? Right. So his dad jumped in the ring too, and then everybody jumped in the ring. It was like, but. All my niggas jumped in the ring. All my Cincinnati niggas jumped in the ring. All they people jumped in the ring. You know what I mean? And then, and then they went on. They kept going. Of course, Devin in more, in more shape. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So so he started, you know, getting off after that. But, yeah, man, that, with A-Tone, that shit would have been over with. And that that that, that was in Mayweather Gym and Floyd Gym? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And, and, and with eight tone, that shit would have been over with. But, but I mean, you can say that Devin got off because because he did get, you know, he was in more shape. He was in more shape. Mm -hmm. You know, Tank just get, just came from fucking with us. He just got off the plane. We we fucking off. You know what I mean? No excuses, but you know what I mean. But like I said, man, 
that was a crazy day, man. It was a, it was a, it was a good day for boxing. If you, you, you only had to be there. Though. It was electrifying, mm-hmm. man. It was, it was a good, it was a good day of boxing, man. It was, it was some, it was some good work. Yes, yeah, I, I saw, I saw, uh, um, GT. He put up the the crowd that was in there, and how many people, man, was absolutely packed in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was crazy. It was crazy. 